but today, I mean, like, obviously this, this thing that's taking everybody by storm and we can't deny it, you know, like, uh, but again, AI, artificial intelligence, you know, so for UX designers, how can they actually, uh, you know, like implement the, the, the usage of, uh, artificial intelligence in their work without it feeling like it hinders their creativity or it limits them in how they work or even feeling like it's taking away jobs. Yeah, I understand. That's, that's a worry. Um, you know, a lot of people are worried that AI is taking jobs and all that stuff. Um, but it really isn't. Like, it's kind of like a tool that just makes things easier. Before, we had typewriters. Typewriters, were, they worked, you know. Actually, let's go even back before that. We had pins. We wrote on paper, yeah. you know. And, you know, it worked to some point, but that's ink, and then you need to... Then they had typewriters, a lot faster, you know. Then from there, we had computers. And from computers, we had computers that had um, autocorrect. So now you're not going back to read because it's doing autocorrect. So technology as a way of having this assisting value. So you, AI is the same. Yes, there's some things AI can totally do on its yeah. own. And it, it's just the way the world is. Tech is always going to change. But human beings change. You, know, you don't stay a child forever. You're going to grow. So it's just like if you're a child, you can run so fast. When you're an adult, you can run even faster. You can be like, oh, adults, those people, <laughs> children can't be like, oh, adults, those people just run faster than us. Yeah. No, because you're going to grow. So it's the same with tech. Um, AI is a brilliant technology. It can take your job. But if you know how to use your AI, it will never take your job because people will need you to operate that yeah. AI. So you need to shift your thoughts. So with UX UI, like there's different branches with UX UI. There's, for example, UX writing. Sure. Writing stuff, whether it's your product description or your, the, the, the different things you see on a UI interface. There's uh, UX research. There's all these crazy things uh, that are there. It cuts off time, first of all. So you produce, like, when you want in the UX UI world for you to be able to get a job or clients, you need to have case studies yeah. and projects. Yeah. UX just makes that easy for you. You know, you just ask it questions, pump, 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 pump. So it makes things easier for you. But because it's got a whole wealth of information, let's say you're doing a case study and you want to find how lucrative a certain product is. You can literally ask it to do research of the most popular products within that demographic and bring it all at once. Mm -hmm. So there's different ways. I mean, there's even tools that actually design you buy spaces. Like you literally just say a podcast app, this, this, this. And I've used the tools like that and it does that. It won't do it as great as a human, but imagine it gives you a starting idea. Instead of you thinking, oh, prototype, how am I going to... It gives you a starting idea, and then you look at it, and you're like, oh, this is good. I'll take this. I'll remove that. Oh, maybe I can improve that. You know what I mean? So um, AI is as useful as you want it to be. If you sit down and do nothing, it will take your job, mm -hmm. a.k.a. Uber yeah. and Airbnb. Yeah. If you were a taxi driver and you didn't get the memo. Uber is going to take you, and I think that's why they're fighting with Uber, is because why don't you just get the app and make your own money? Exactly. Why do you want to bash someone else's car? This person just got onto a technology and is making a living like you, you know? So Airbnb also, hotels could have also decided to do funny, but then they didn't. So it's just one of those things where um, AI can either help you, yeah but it will replace you. Sure. And it's your decision. If you're like, how can I use AI? Like right now there's jobs like prompt engineering, yeah. where basically you need to learn how to get the best out of AI. Mm -hmm. You know, need to know how to talk to. So if you see AI is taking, learn prompt engineering, and then your company will need you to talk to this AI that they're thinking of replacing you. Exactly. Imagine you're the only one in your company exactly. who knows prompt engineering. Yeah. Everyone will be fired except for you. And they'll increase because you are the only one who was there. But people, I feel like I was saying earlier, we're waiting to be saved. The government must save us. The government must put rules against AI. The, the Uber drivers want the government, to, I mean, the, the taxi drivers want the government to do something about the, the, the Uber industry. Create your own app. 
for t- taxi drivers. Join Uber, like do something. Yeah. Because if you wait for the government, ha, you will wait. Our, I'm sure our parents are still waiting for certain things. I thought, yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's fake. Yeah, 